Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terror. I hope everybody's well. So, I'm back in the old corner. <laughs> and those of you who have been hanging around since the very beginning, this was the corner of the living room where I had my um, tarot table, where I read my cards, where I did my thing. And I'm back here, maybe just for this, you know, the readings I'm doing today. Maybe I'll be here permanently, I don't know. Still kicking balls around. But it feels good being back in the old corner again. It's cleansing. Anywho, this one, this reading, is going to be for my Cancer Leo cusp babies. So if you're returning, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Much love. If you're new here, though, I think you might want to come back more often, hang out. I think we're gonna vibe and shit. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Be super cool of you. Hit the like button while you're down there. That'd be awesome. It all helps the channel and it all helps the video to be circulated to those who may need the message. So that is all well and good. Okay, so if it resonates, cool. It's not really a moon rising or Venus thing. It's the sun cusp because y'all got some crazy mishmash of energy. Um. My ex-husband is actually Cancer Leo Cusp, and I don't think I need to say any mo anything more about that. He is my ex-husband, so <laughs> neither here nor there. Anyway, um, if you hear the pinging of the messenger, I'm ignoring my phone today because it is my 41st birthday, and I don't need to be reminded of how old I am, so it's not that I'm ungrateful for the years that I've been here. Or for you know the well wishes of my you know from my friends, it just I I can't right now. Anyway, okay, where are we at? Time and energy are both fluid. These events could still be playing out. They could have already played out. They could play out sometime in the future. That just brings us into the argument that time is a man-made construct and it isn't real anyway. But we're not going there in this video. Energy is fluid. Can be vice versa. So if you're a cross watcher up in here trying to figure your person out, I've got to give you props. Because, like I said, I was married to a Cancer Leo cuss for six years. And we've been friends for 25. And, it, yeah, that, that that's a hard one. It really is. Okay. That came out in the upright. Okay. Anywho. Um, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose the cards they are. And once again, if it's not your messes, just leave it on the table and we'll try again next month. All right, we're going to see what popped out. Okay. Oh, uh, the Empress and the Nine of... That is an interesting, interesting couple of cards right there to come out. The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. She has a life goal. Her life goal is to become her. Yeah. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aries, or a Gemini. Virgo. I had to stop. I had to count. I had to count cards in my head. Sorry. Anywho. Friends, let's get a rolling. All right, let's shuffle. I'm already like way into the spiel. It's because I kept running my mouth. Shuffle, get them on the table for you. But I will say, if some of you are deciding what your life goals are going to be and your life growth is to grow and expand yourself and see what's going to happen in a situation. If some of you are deciding to just be single and work on yourselves, hey, that's cool too. Sometimes some of us need to learn to be just content with that. Okay. 
Here we go. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for the Cancer Leo Cups. Kalalala. Cancer Leo Cusp babies in my collective. And anyone who clicks on this video and views it seeking answers to their questions. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring all viewers and querents to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Alright, let's get it going. Uh, set this over here. High Priestess. Knight of Wands. Huh. All right. Unanswered questions. Soulmate connection for somebody, possibly. Some of you could be called to use your intuition in a situation. Or your intuition is speaking to you. Knight of Wands is a challenge. That could be making the offer. If we're going with the singularity theme, this is the party pony. Rides in, rides out. Maybe you just want to ride in and ride out. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that rides in and rides out. I don't know. We'll get clarity on it in a minute. What's going to happen? Oh, my. Ten of cups, double reversed. Nine of cups. Nice. Okay. Why? Seven of Wands, the Lovers. Knave of Cups, he brings an apology. Combativeness. Somebody's being combative. Could be you, could be the other person. Somebody was combative in a situation. The devil reversed is breaking away from something toxic, possibly. Or breaking away from another binding connection. The lover's card speaks of choices. Tens are completion. Outcome. Make or break. Building the tower where you want it built. Allowing a painful cycle to come to a completion and the sun to shine again. Bottom of the dock. The Empress, there she is! Growth. Expansion. Hmm. You know what I love about this Nine of Cups? We're going to go off on a tangent for a second. See how the two little boys are playing? You know what that little girl's doing? She's eating cake. She's eating cake. And she's content and happy just eating cake. She doesn't want to go down and play with the boys. She's making herself happy. I like that. 
if over the course of the next 30 days or so, give or take, I'm a little late with the cost of babies this month. Some of you may come to the conclusion that you need to make yourself happy and eat your cake. Not worry about what other people are doing. Huh. Alright, let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity. I feel like something is coming to a completion. It may have been complete for a while, or someone may have been out of your life. But I think you're finally allowing something to end with this Ten of Cups. Because, you know, yeah, ultimate happiness at the end of the day. The separation, temperance. Into the devil. Oh, yeah. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius involved. Plus Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio on the board. That's just with the majors. Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Communication, trying to give something one last go. Temperance can be a card of coming back together, but into that devil. Ooh. Okay. I see what's going on. Nine of Wands comes in and out. Okay. Communication. One last go. Bringing something back together to complete a cycle. Talk to me about this double reversed. Holy Moses. Queen of Coins. That's also someone who wants to become the Empress. That's a woman that knows her worth. Expects you to know it too. And going into the King of Wands expects another er, King of Coins expects nothing less. Hmm. Alright, what hit the floor? I think we're going to put him back, but... Three of Swords reversed, Hereford reversed, Empress reversed, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords reversed. We're not putting these back. Nope, we're keeping them. That's the painful decision to choose yourself. Knowing what's not going to grow, the separation of a blessed union. Processing what you refuse to process. Because I think some of you know doggone well, this has been in and out of your life. Finally choosing you. Finally choosing you. Give me one on this Nine of Cups. People are going to be pinging me all day long. Yes, it's my birthday. I appreciate the well wishes, but not right now, guys. Mm. Talking about this Nine of Cups. Nine of 
Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords. Allowing a painful cycle to end. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands reversed, Knight of Coins, Queen of Coins reversed. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Shouldn't be having sleepless nights because you chose you. You made the right choice. You're going to make the right choice. I see you completely cutting this person off. Why is it happening? Somebody was combative. Talking about the Seven of Wands. Talking about the Seven of Wands. Two swords, three swords. Making the decision to let your swords down and it moved into heartbreak. <clears throat> lay down your swords, lay down your wand, you know, whatever you're laying down. King of Swords reversed to the Page of Swords reversed. Letting, the, letting your guard down. Letting somebody in. Why the lovers? Why the lovers? Why the lovers? Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Moving on to find your wish fulfillment, to find your cups. For more on that lovers. Strength to the chariot, five of wands to the six of wands. Yeah, the conflict. Holding back. Driving the chariot where you want to drive it might have caused a little bit of conflict. Five of cups, six of cups. But at the end of the day, You acknowledge that there's a connection here. All right. Talk to me about this Page of Cups. This has been a fucking merry-go-round for some of you. The tower. Sometimes you gotta drop the tower to start the healing. All a tower really is a sudden change. Oh my gosh, okay. Give me a bunch of cards, why don't you? Nine of coins, ten of coins reverse, they don't want to be single anymore. King of Coins, King of Wands, huh? Knowing what they want, going after it, getting it, acknowledging you as the catch.
came back in and tried to give this one last go. I don't think you're allowing it to happen, though. I think ultimately you choose you and decide to disconnect from this. All right, why the tower reversed is the outcome. Oh my God, my energy is starting to drain. I can't quit now, I have more to do after this. Contemplation of whether you want to rebuild the tower. Contemplation of the offer. Is it just going to lead to sadness and more spilt cups? You want to put in the effort. All right. Why the Ten of Swords? I see you ignoring it and not putting the effort in. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. You guys are ready to end this. I think the other person's going to keep trying to come back and trying to come back and trying to come back until you stand your ground and be like, listen, I need this to end. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes the Page of Swords tells you something you don't want to hear, but he speaks truth. Mm, I need, what do I need? Crystal power. Ace of Pentacles. I am always rewarded for all I do. That's the reward of a new stable start. Might be slow. Don't rush it. Eight of Cups, I accept my situation without resistance. That's knowing when to move on and find your cups. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. To the Empress. I make empowered choices. The choice is yours. You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. Wisdom Oracle. Wisdom Oracle. Regeneration and come to the edge. 46, uh, number 46, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is an ending. Come to the edge. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 is almost coming to the ending. All right, number 46, regeneration. Second chances are available to you now. Whether opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. Is This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Mm. 
That can come with something new or something old coming into your life, can it? Number 36. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now. If you want to progress, it's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated, to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Somebody needed that one. All right, guys. Wow, almost a half hour again. Holy cow. All right. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming down. And I will catch you guys next month. Peace, love, and light.